Alright, hey everybody, it's Havoc Fanatic, and I've got a build video for you today. I wanted to document these builds because we got a giant change to our mod system coming up in Lightfall, and I wanted to help with some new lights and new players because recently all of the mods in the game have been unlocked for all players, and that unlocks the ability to build craft, and not every player knows how to build craft in Destiny as it's a little unique to Destiny. So while watching this, I hope you learn a few things, how to build craft, and maybe see some new builds that you want to try out because they look like a lot of fun. And that's the main point of these builds. They aren't the highest DPS meta option. They're builds that I found very fun and just a joy to play, but can hang in the end game with the best of them. Let's get to it. Starting with Void. I love Void Walker. It is my favorite. Healing Rift, Strafe Glide for directional control. This is preferential and Pocket Singularity because that is the only melee we get to work with right now. I hope we get some more. Please, Bungie, please. Vortex Grenades because Vortex Grenades are fantastic. Chaos Accelerant. Charging up grenades to make them deadlier. Feed the Void with Devour. I love this perk for the entire first year of D1. I was a Void Devour Warlock. Echo of Remnants. These Void Grenades last longer, increased duration. Weaken Grenades. I know, I know, minus 20 discipline. Seems like a lot. It'll be fine, I promise. Volatile Rounds. Defeating things with grenades it gives Volatile Rounds plus 10 strength, which is always nice. You can put Velus X in this slot. Velus X is fantastic. Repulsor Brace, defeating a void debuff target, like the ones with our volatile rounds, grants you an overshield. So you're constantly getting overshield back. Uh, which I should mention also happens on Graviton Lance because this has turnabout on it by default. And turnabout gives you a little bit of shield when you get rid of an opponent's shield. And Golden Tricorn, where final blows of this weapon grant bonus damage to this weapon. And another mention is one of my favorite weapons right now, a submachine gun, Unforgiven. This one comes with Frenzy, Demolitionist, so you get that grenade energy back and reload when you toss them. And Armor Piercing Rounds, to help knock them shields down and just get a little bit more penetration on them targets. Uh, Bitter Spite is also a great perk on this, the Origin Trait, which gives you increased reload when you take damage. And for the Kinetic, you know we'd be using Wither Horde since we're not using anything else. Come on, it was obvious. You have to. My build before it looked a little something like this with Graviton Lance, which is almost masterwork now at 80% and Malicious Birthright. And this one in particular, because Spike Grenades, Grave Robber for that melee attack gives me that uh, charge back, initiates Devour. Auto Loading Holster. Auto Loading Holster, Spike Grenades, Blinding Grenades. That's really all you need. Like, that's it. This could be whatever. Retrofit Escapade. Now I am working on leveling mine up. This is a crafted version. But right now, when you use one of these machine guns with four times a charm and target lock, this gun, the 900 round per minute machine gun, has a glitch going on with the volatile rounds where they just go off like crazy when you unload on them with the machine gun. So that's our means of DPS with this build. Now for the armor. Helmet, all about the nades and the defense. Elemental ordnance spawning elemental wells that match your subclass energy type now elemental wells if you don't know they are little like puddles of light that are all over the ground when you trigger certain mods like this you run over them to pick them up to get ability cooldown you always get ability cooldown no matter what kind of well you pick up that's just what they do baseline you can change what they do and how they accumulate and spawn based on what mods you have. Ashes to assets. Gain bonus super energy for grenade kills. I thought about double stacking this, but I chose some stats instead, but you can double stack this if you want, but 
Yeah, I get so much super back. It's it's fine. It's it's really fine. Harmonic Siphon. Rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass type. Create an orb of power. Since we are using weapons that are all void, and we're matching, we are twinning with everything here. That, wrong piece. That will be triggering again, getting orbs all the time when you get multi kills. Now for the gloves Elemental Armaments. Uh, just random wells popping out while you're killing things with elements matching your subclass. Pretty straightforward. Happens every like 10 kills or so. Uh, I'm not sure what the math is on any of these. I don't like go that deep into it, you know. So if you want that, go to Dado. That's the man. But I am using Unstoppable Grenade Launcher and Anti Barrier Pulse Rifle this season. But if I wasn't, I have these as solar because the solar mod. Uh, impact induction causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. This is great. Throw your melee out there, bam, a little bit grenade energy. We're golden. Chest piece, font of might. When picking up the well, get a giant damage boost for the weapon that you're using that is the same damage type as your subclass. I love this perk. I have this on all the time. This is great. It's a very noticeable damage buff, and it stacks with a lot of things. This season, you have mod that has defense for all three light elements, so I chose to do my chest piece stasis, so I could do a stasis one. Also, boots, I have Well of Tenacity. Picking up a void elemental well reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period of time. It's kind of a short period of time, but it just really helps when you're running to grab that elemental well that you get that extra defense and it's quite the buff uh, to your defense anyway so it's well worth using now this is where things kind of change around if you're solo this season you are absolutely running solo operative grenade launchers are using weakened clear weakened clear is wonderful this causes a weakened effect. I think it's like 20% somewhere in there. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Again, Dado. This is just a secondary means to weaken your target, but we have our grenades in this void field to weaken our target, so we don't really need it. Uh, and we're not solo, so I chose Monochromatic Maestro. Dealing damage with elemental abilities grants increased damage to weapons of the same element for a short duration. Dealing damage with elemental weapons grants increased damage to abilities of the same element for a short duration. Basically, your abilities damage feeding into your weapon, weapon damage feeding into your abilities. It, it, it could have been so much simpler, Bungie. Come on. Concise. This is my build, and let's go and show it off. 